So we're starting to get some official leaks of English Paldean Fates cards and people are either loving it or hating it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. So we are starting to get some official English reveals for Paldean Fates. Just the other day, I think it was Friday or Saturday, Pokemon dropped a video revealing four cards from Paldean Fates. And we're actually getting to see these shiny cards or technically baby shiny cards in English. And they, honest to goodness, in my opinion, they look really really freaking good never mind the fact that there's a pikachu in there so we're starting to get some of these english reveals already we're starting to see some interesting things we're seeing baby shinies in english with the silver border around it for the first time and i guess it kind of has that raised texturing pattern in my opinion it looks really really cool so so far we have seen a pikachu i love this pikachu i want this pikachu i want a full binder page of this pikachu i think it looks really cool with the shiny eyes exterior border absolutely love it love it love it then we also got the back scalibur which is very cool because this is a very playable back scalibur it's played in every chin pow deck looks very nice we got the reveal of the scyther in english scyther looking really really good and we got the reveal of the shiny mimikyu the baby shiny mimikyu which looks really good and it's the safeguard one which is also very playable it's a very much a stall deck type of card works really well in a lot of decks so those are the english versions that we've got and i think they look cool and i want to talk about something that's very interesting today because we're seeing a lot going around about about Paldean Fates. Uh, people are either incredibly excited about it or people are just absolutely crapping on it, saying this is a horrible set. This set is god-awful. This set is trash. This set is terrible. It's the same garbage they're doing all over and over. And while everybody is valid to have their opinions, and I, I want everybody to have their opinions, and you should be able to express your opinions and all of that's great. And I'm here to tell you, if you hate Paldean Fates, that's okay. You're allowed to hate Paldean Fates. And you know what? If you don't like it, don't buy it. We are in this crazy collecting atmosphere where people think that they have to have everything and they have to buy everything and everything that comes out should be something that they love. And I'm here to tell you that that's not really healthy and it shouldn't be that way. There should be things that come out and you're like, cool, I don't like this. I can, can I, you know what? I'm just going to focus on 151 or I'm going to focus on Paradox Rift and I'm not going to spend any money on this set or I'm going to wait for the next set, save my money for the next set. So I'm here to tell you, if you don't like Paldean Fates and the baby shinies and everything that's coming out with it, that's okay. It's okay to not like the new set. It's okay to not like what's coming out. That doesn't mean it's garbage. Just because you don't like it means somebody else will. In fact, there's a ton of people that love the shiny hunt. I'm not a huge fan of the shinies. I'm probably not gonna buy a ton of this product to open, but there are a few cards that I'm incredibly excited about, like that baby Pikachu or that baby shiny Pikachu. I hope we get a full art. How sick would that be? So it's okay if you hate Paldean Fates, but we actually have a decent idea at everything that we're gonna be getting for Paldean Fates, along with a bunch of other cards that we've already seen in Japanese. There's a bunch of great stuff that's already come out that we're, we know is very likely gonna end up in Paldean Fates, either as a promo or in the set. All that to say, if you think Paldean Fates sucks and you hate it, that's okay, but there's other people that do enjoy it. Guys, drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you like Paldean Fates or you're just like, eh, this isn't for me and you're gonna save your money for something else. I think that's totally cool, but we do have an idea of some of the stuff that we're gonna be getting, okay? So we're definitely gonna be getting mini tins. We know we're gonna be getting mini tins, which is a great way, you know, you get two packs, very, very nice. And then we also saw the reveal and the pre-orders went up for the Pokemon Center exclusive uh, Elite Trainer Box, which is nice because we're getting this new Mimikyu that is a full art shiny. So it's not shiny shiny, but the Pokemon is shiny, right? And I believe this is the first that we've seen of like a full art illustration rare shiny Pokemon card. And it's the Safeguard Mimikyu. Uh, and a lot of people love this card. For me, it's okay. I, I'm not crazy about it, but I under I can look at it objectively and understand why people like it so much. Uh, but we did get the reveal of the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box, and then obviously we probably know that the regular Elite Trainer Box is going to look very similar. Something else that we got a nice look at is we got a look at uh, the Tin Collection that's going to be coming out. So we've got the Great Tusk and the Iron Treads that's going to be in the Tin Collection, and Pokemon just went ahead and said, "Stuff get scalpers, we're going to put the Charizard as a promo," and so they put the shiny Charizard as a promo in one of the tins and the charizard deck that this playability that this card is for is actually a decent charizard deck there's a lot of people playing this deck and there's a lot of people that are winning with this deck and so now this is the second product that this type of charizard is going to be in as a promo making it really easy for people to get this specific charizard 
for their deck. Now, another thing that's cool is we are going to be getting booster bundles. So this is going to be the second kind of specialty set in a row that we're getting booster bundles for. We know we got booster bundles in Pokemon 151. We're going to be getting booster bundles in Paldean and Fates as well. Six booster packs at MSRP, nothing else. You're not paying for promos or oversized cards or coins or dice or anything else that you may or may not want. Very cool. Now, the interesting thing is, are people going to be ridiculous in FOMO and jack up the price of a booster bundle just because it has packs? It's the stupidest thing that's happened in the Pokemon TCG community in a while, and I can't wrap my head around it because the the sole point of booster bundles being in a specialty set is so you can get packs for cheap. There's nothing else in there that you get. Why does it make sense for a booster bundle of a specialty set to be two times MSRP when there's nothing else that you're getting in there? At that point, just go buy an elite trainer box and get your packs for cheaper. The heightened and the crazy jacked up FOMO market manipulation prices of booster bundles on Pokemon 151 makes zero sense to me because you, you understand what I'm saying? There's not a promo in there. There's not anything special in there. Why would you go and start paying $9 for a booster bundle per pack and you know, for every pack that's in a booster bundle when you can just go buy an elite trainer box and spend 550 a pack or buy any other number of products? Doesn't make sense to me. So I'm very curious if this is gonna happen with the Paldean Fates booster bundles as well. Obviously we get to see all of the art Artwork. artwork looks great very very cool i am incredibly pumped about the shiny pikachu being on the art i think that looks very very nice and then we also have these really cool premium collections so there's going to be three shining premium collections that are coming out for Paldean Fates. Uh, there's going to be a Meowskarada EX and you're going to see the full evolutionary line. These are the first partner Pokemon for Gen 9. So you're going to get the full evolutionary line of shinies as well as an oversized shiny card and then you get like a frame to display all three of your cards. So we're going to get a Meowskarada. These actually look really, really good, like a really cool product. You're going to get a Quackable. So you get Quaxly, Quaxwell, and Quackable EX. And then we're also going to get a Fuecoco Skeledurge. So you get Fuecoco, Crocolor, Skeledurge, and it's all the shiny line i don't think we've had a premium collection product like this before i think this is actually a really really cool product they also revealed that we're going to be getting like sticker collections tech sticker collections uh for Paldean fates and they haven't revealed as of me recording this video you know it typically happens that when i make a news video they reveal something while i'm recording but as of me recording this video they haven't revealed what the promos are going to be for these tech sticker collections but you basically get three packs of promo and a sticker for you to put on your binder or your phone or your keyboard or something. So we got Fido right there. I believe that's Grievard. And then uh, Mabbo Stiff. I want to say I might be wrong on a couple of those. I don't have all the Gen 9s memorized yet. This is kind of a cool product. I think this will be great for kids. You get three packs and a sticker and a promo and probably a good viable option to be able to pick up packs at close to MSRP without paying for all the extra fluff. So we've only had a few English cards revealed, not very many English cards, but we can assume some of the cards that are the vast majority of the cards that are gonna be in the set based upon what's coming out for Shiny Treasures EX, which is the Japanese equivalent. Really cool. And just again, a reiteration, there's very much a love it or hate it mentality towards this. And if you hate this set, I'm here to encourage you. That's okay if you hate this set. Don't look at it like this set is garbage. I'm so so mad that they're putting out a set that I don't want to have anything to do with it. Look at it like, cool, I get a break. If there's not a release coming out right now and I can take the money that I would normally spend on the new set, spend it on a previous set, spend it on some vintage, save it for the next set, whatever the case may be, because I know not everybody likes shiny Pokemon. Some people love shiny Pokemon. There's going to be a lot of people that are really, really pumped and jazzed and incredibly excited for this set. So just because you don't like it doesn't mean that has to be a negative thing. Just take that money and that energy and allocate it towards something else and continue to enjoy your collecting, building up a binder of another set that you are enjoying. So love it or hate it, Paldea and Fates, let me know it down in the comments below. Do you love it or do you hate it? Or what are you looking forward to the most? And if you enjoyed this video, my friends, give it a thumbs up. It really helps and it's really free for you to do that. And like I always say, find somebody to love and serve today, be the change you wanna see in the world. See you next time.